Hi there. I am representing WebTrackOfficial.com. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at WebTrackOfficial.com. In this video I am going to show you, how you can create a beautiful landing page using Elementor like this. Elementor is a drag and drop page builder allowing WordPress users to create and edit websites. So make sure to watch the video till end. Also if you want to know, how you can create a complete website using Elementor, watch this video here. Alright, click the plus icon to open column settings. I am gonna take single column. Now I wanna add a background image to this, so to add it, click style tab. Click the brush icon and choose your image. Image is added but it's too small to see. Set the position to center center. Repeat to no repeat. And size to cover. Now let's add some stuff in this section. I am gonna add text widget. But first, to make the widgets align vertically center, Click the column icon, and set its vertical alignment to center. Now I am going to add heading widget first. Now change its text. This break tag is for line break. Now to change its color and font style, go to style tab. Now change its color, and typography as well. Now adjust the settings according to your need. Perfect, now I am gonna add text widget. Change the text for it as well. I am gonna keep the demo text for now. Just like heading widget. Change the color and font style in Style tab. Now lastly, I want to add button widget to this section. First change the text. To change its size, change it from here. You can also add icon to the button by clicking add icon. Now choose your icon. You can also choose the icon placement to show it after text just by selecting after. Now to add spacing between icon and text, adjust the icon spacing scale. Now let's change the colors in the style tab. Now I am going to change the colors. In the hover tab, you can change the hover color as well. Excellent. To finalize this section, I am going to add some spacing to top and bottom. I am going to do it with spacer widget but you can add padding as well. Adjust the space. Similarly I am going to add spacer to bottom. Now it's looking awesome. Lastly, I want to make the button rounded, so I am going to add border radius to it.
Awesome. We're all done with our hero section. For the services section, I am gonna add one column. In it, I am gonna add the heading widget. Also I am gonna make the vertical alignment to middle. Now change the text. Now I am going to change the text color and typography. Now I am going to add text widget underneath it. In the style tab, I am going to change the color and typo. Also I am going to center align both widgets. Now I am going to add the image above these widgets. Ok, now I am just going to duplicate the columns. Now I am going to change the images and texts. Last thing I want to do it, I am going to add some bottom margin. And we're done with the services section as well. Now for the third section, I am going to single column, and add a background image again. For this section, I am going to add the counter widget. Now I am just going to add a number suffix and title. In the style tab, I am going to change the color and typography. I am going to make the column alignment to middle. Now I am just going to change the font size and duplicate the column. Now I am simply going to change the descriptions. I am going to add some padding so that text can be visible. And we're pretty much done with our third section as well. Also I am going to add bottom margin as well. For the fourth and final section, I am going to take two columns. In the first column. I am going to add an image.
For the second column, first I am going to add the heading widget. And make the vertical alignment to middle. Now I am going to change the text, its color and typo. Now I am going to add a divider widget underneath it. I am going to change the width, widget space and color. I am going to change its weight as well. Now I am going to add a text widget and do the same styling for it. And lastly I am going to add the social media icons and add links to your social profiles. Make some adjustments that you like and publish your page. And our landing page is ready. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.